The Celilo Converter Station in the Dalles is the northern stopping point of the Pacific Direct Current Intertie. The 500 kilovolt transmission line carries power between the Dalles and the Silmar Converter Station in the San Fernando Valley, north of Los Angeles. The line allows for the sharing of electricity between the Pacific Northwest's massive hydropower system and the southwestern United States. The Northwest and the Southwest have high energy demand periods at opposite times of the year, so the Northwest can share its power in the summer when air conditioning causes peak demand. During the winter, Southwestern power sources can send power northward in response to added heating needs. BPA has contracted with ABB in Sweden to replace the Celilo Converter Station Terminal. The work is part of a larger improvement project that stretches south to the Oregon-Nevada border. Part of that job involves transporting seven 430-ton transformers from Sweden to the Dalles. The transformers are being shipped by barge from Sweden to Oregon, then up the Columbia River. That's the long part of the journey, but more challenges lie ahead. The movers must get these large, heavy, awkward pieces of equipment from the river to the converter station. They chose to start at the new Columbia Gorge Industrial Center on the opposite end of the Dalles. An old barge slip and the level land offered a good location to offload the transformers and stage the move. Crestline Construction of the Dalles built the transformer landing and modified the riverfront trail for the move. They then helped with freeway barriers and traffic control. But between that spot on the river west of town and the Celilo Converter Station on a hill east of town lies about 12 miles of roads, bridges, overpasses, and underpasses, several of them impassable due to weight or height restrictions. Here's a look at the first transformer leaving the Columbia Gorge Industrial Center. You get an idea of just how massive the equipment is when you see the workers alongside. Despite the size of the transformers, Contractors Cargo Company found a way through town that bypassed the obstacles. They took the freeway. Cutting straight across Interstate 84 in the dark of night solved their problem, even though the freeway presents its own obstacle. Freeways may slow down at night, but they never sleep. Working with the Oregon Department of Transportation and local authorities, the movers arranged a window of time where they could make the crossing. The first move, pictured here, was a little rough. It took about two and a half hours to complete. That time was cut significantly in future moves. For our purposes, we'll speed things up a bit to save a little time. Here's the transformer heading up the ramp onto the westbound lanes of I-84 at warp speed as freeway traffic flows by. The center barrier has been removed. Now the transformer is maneuvering at its normal, slow speed to reach the center area. The barriers go up as soon as the transformer has passed. Okay, let's speed it up again. Finally, they reach the eastbound off-ramp and the traffic is behind them. That's David Soriano walking backwards in front of the equipment. There's no driver aboard. Soriano steers the trailer from the front using a remote control. That's a lot of walking backwards, but finally the equipment exits the off-ramp and is ready for the rest of its journey. Only 11 miles to go. Contractors Cargo Company had moved two of the transformers by mid-May and will move five more before the end of 2015.